Hello friends, Tony Bocigalupo here, and today is April 1st, 2022. No fooling, I just kicked off a new program that I developed called Reconnection Challenge. And the idea behind this is that a lot of us are still trying to figure out how to reconnect to the world around us, rebuild our social lives, I want to say after the pandemic, I still feel like I can't say that, but during this time when we feel like a lot of us are starting to kind of reemerge. And so um, what I'm finding is that a lot of us don't realize how hard some things are, how much we've been affected by what's gone on with the pandemic. And so I wanted to create something that helps us to explore all the different ways that we could foster a sense of belonging, um, not just through social means like making new friends, but also through developing a better relationship with yourself and maybe by finding old friends. Uh, and so the idea of the program is that we're going to go through six weeks and each week is going to focus on a different aspect of one's belongfulness that they can cultivate. And I'm a big fan of that word. I'm having a lot more fun with that word lately. Uh, but the idea is that this first week, we're focusing on belonging to yourself. This is something that I've learned about a lot in recent months that essentially you can be super social and make lots of friends and be going out there and still feel lonely. And that's strange. But what it comes down to is that you need to be able to know who you are and you need to be able to know how to have a good relationship with yourself and that's really going to dictate how far you can go in terms of your relationships with other people. And even worse, if you don't have a good relationship with yourself and you're going out there being social, you might end up getting chewed up or consumed by your desire to fit in with these other people uh, without your own strong sense of individuation. Um, that's kind of something that you need to be able to have a better handle on. Uh, otherwise, going out and being social could actually be problematic. And maybe it has been for you in the past, and that's made you a little more gun shy to get out there. I know that's definitely happened for me. And so for me, I want to be able to give people ways to get to know themselves better. So some of the exercises we're going through with the group that I've convened for this beta test involve uh, journaling, which is so fundamental and simple and easy and powerful. I almost take it for granted and almost didn't want to include it in the program, and it turned out to be the most popular takeaway is simply to write more, and in particular in a stream of consciousness kind of format, morning pages, artist way style, if you're familiar with that. Um, and then uh, walking, going out and leaving the house and really going out with the mindset of attracting magic, looking for stuff around you that um, we might not have seen before, and just starting to create a greater sense of awareness in the orbit around where you live. And then uh, cataloging interests. We have a lot of interests that maybe we haven't checked in on in a while, especially from when we were younger. I shared a story of when I was in middle school and I was making comic books and I was drawing lyrics to songs in my, my school notebooks and all of these things that um, I felt that I had to revisit years later. And so uh, now is a good time to ask yourself, what am I interested in that I haven't that I haven't touched in a while. Let's, let's see if there's a way we can explore that. And then finally, visiting new places, just looking for whether it be an event space or just an interesting location, maybe a museum, a park, going to somewhere you haven't been before. Uh, this is kind of connected to the walking. Maybe it's further than walking distance, but if you can just find something that you've never been to before and go and check it out. All of this is meant to give us kind of a stronger base of understanding, create a conversation between us and ourselves, and to kind of see how we respond to the environment around us. Where are we finding ourselves naturally gravitating to? And then that's going to help us lay a foundation for where we're going to build our friendships and attend events and all those things in subsequent weeks. Um, so I hope that's been helpful to you. If you want to follow along, uh, go ahead and subscribe, drop a comment. Uh, let me know if any of those things that I mentioned in particular are landing for you, something you want, want to explore more, 
And in the meantime, I'm going to share more updates on the programming and the resources I'm developing uh, in my quest to help eradicate the epidemic of loneliness. And opposite of loneliness is belongfulness, and that's what I'm here for. So hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.